Hello everyone, I'm Christy and this is my channel, Christy Pinsty. On my channel, I like to talk mostly about my pin collection, specifically my Disney pin collection and some other fun Disney things. So today I have a Disney pin thing. I bought some pin lots off of eBay. So I'm going to open those for you guys so you can get a glimpse at what is going to be in my pin cell on Instagram. So I'm gonna have a board cell. So I'll give you guys a look at everything. So I purchased two boxes full of pins. And so this is what I have that I'm gonna go through and open these up, see what's authentic, see what's not authentic in a scrapper I'm gonna put aside to do something else with. And so we'll see what all is in here. Um, again, this one I did have to go through so that way I knew everything was in it, but they just came wrapped in tissue paper. So single little pieces of tissue paper, all of these little pins. And then this one, it came all in a Ziploc bag. So that's what you get when you order off eBay, but I'm gonna take you over. We're gonna get an up close look at all these pins. You'll see what I'm keeping, what's gonna be available in my board sale, and what's a scrapper and what is not. And again, I'm not perfect. So if some of these you see, hey, that's not authentic, let me know in the comments. All right, let's go see what we got. All right, so here are the two boxes of pins that I have. Again, one, I unwrapped them all. They're all loose now. And then this one is in just a big Ziploc baggie of a bunch of pins. So uh, let's get through this one that I already unwrapped. And let's see what's inside here. Again, I'll post what might be available and uh, what I'm going to keep and so forth. So this is just a little button. It says Worldwide Conservation Fund. This will be a freebie in something that I do. And then in here, I have this little Sorcerer Mickey. It's a keychain and a pen. So not sure if that works, but it's a cute little pen. Might do that in a little freebie or giveaway or something later. So let's see what I pull out first. I have Hollywood Tower Hotel. Oh, that one's cute. I'm tempted to keep that one, but I already have a few, so... I think I'll let go of this one, but I do love that Goofy is in the cast member uniform there. So cute. So I like that one. That one's iffy. That one's iffy. I may or may not keep this one because <laughs> I do like it. Oh, there we go. I got the back off. Okay. So there's that one. I'm trying to get lighting better. So that one's definitely authentic. It's got the FAC number, so I would think it would be. Again, I'm no expert. But I think it would be. That one is adorable. I love that one. All right, next pin inside. We have a 2014 pin. I think I might already have this one. But it's a spinner, so you've got Minnie, you've got Sorcerer Mickey, you have Pluto, you have Donald with his um, like movie copper. I think that there's a name for that. Let me know in the comments. And then Goofy. Looks like he's an officer of some sort. All right, so there we go, 2014. It's a spinner, so that one's definitely authentic. Our next one, oh, that is an adorable one. So we've got Chip and Dale. I have no idea what this is, but I do like Chip and Dale, so somebody let me know what that is. <laughs> but it does look to be authentic, again, by my eye. I am no expert expert, but it does have the number there, and the pegs look sharp and everything. The front looks good. So I think that one's fine. It's cute, but I have no idea what that is. Somebody let me know. And then we have, oh, like a little snow globe one. So it says Disney World on it. It's a little snow globe. It's got confetti all in there. We've got Mickey and Pluto with some balloons. Some of the confetti stuck, which is what I hear happens with these. But So this one will definitely be for sale. I'm not big on any of these 3D style pens that stick out like this because they just stick out on my board. Next we have a donut. I know some of these donuts get hard to tell because they have been faked. But the ones that I've gotten that are fake have dips in the enamel. I don't see any in this one. But again, I'll have to look it over better. And then there's the back. It does have sharp pegs. It has the FAC number on the bottom. It is dirty, but I think this one's okay. 
you know, I'll look these over a little bit more, but I think they're okay. I'm not sure about the coloring. So I'll have to look this one up because these fakes are getting better and better. All right, so we have Hook, which the coloring on this one does not look good unless it's just my lighting here. But yeah, Hook's face, the coloring, coloring does not look good, but let's look at the back. The back looks good though. So look at those sharp pegs. And then the words here are spaced like they should. So maybe this one is authentic. Again, I'm going to give these a better look out of the camera versus in the camera. But the back looks okay on this one. So I'll put it on the board for now, but again, going to check it a little bit more. And then we have, looks like Goofy. Oh, he's upside down. <laughs> okay, so it's Goofy upside down in a tree with what, a bat. Is this like an Animal Kingdom set? Does the Chippendale kind of go with this one? I would assume so. Yeah, and it has the same backing, I think. So do they go together? Somebody let me know. I do not know anything about this set. So there's that one. I don't we have another donut. So this is the Jiminy Cricket donut. Again, no dips in this one, but I'm seeing the ones that I had that were fake definitely had big dips in the enamel. This one looks shiny. It is kind of, needs to be cleaned. So I'll need to clean these a little bit with just some soap and water and see what happens. They do have the pegs and the FAC number like it should. So again, I'm gonna put it on the board, check them. This is in here. Oh, it's a rock and roller coaster pin. That one is really cool. I already have one that I've purchased. That's kind of sentimental to me. Looks like it might have some scratches there unless that's supposed to be there. So that one's a pretty cool pin. There's a look at the back. All right, we have a little mermaid pen. Mermaid. So we have Ursula. I have no idea if these have been faked. I'm sure they have, but this one's got the FAC number. Looks like the pegs look good. So I think this one is okay. Again, going to check them a little bit more before I put anything in a sale. Oh, and this one I'm keeping. Okay, so this one I'm going to keep, but I have a big Thunder Mountain one with Chip and Dale on it, but I think it's Disneyland, so I'm going to let go of that one, and I'm going to keep this one. I love attraction pins with the characters, so this one has Goofy, Donald, and Mickey, and then it slides. Okay, this one I'm keeping, so sorry about that, but that one's going to go over here with my stuff. So we have this little cute Pluto. It needs to be cleaned up a lot too. I do have some tarnished stuff that I might try to use on the back of this one. Cause it's kind of tarnished up a lot. Focus please, there we go. Cute little Pluto though. So we have the Little Mermaid castle, which I'm assuming this one is fake. It's been very highly faked. I did have a real one way back when. Yeah, it's missing, it's right, it's missing the L even on the back. Alright, so again, do not think this one is authentic. So this one's going over to the side is not being authentic. So put that one way over here. This one was the one I was keeping. And then we have these that have been faked too. I don't see any dips in this one though. Look at the back. Spikes look good on that. Spacing looks good on that. Edging looks good. I think this one is authentic. So I think that one's authentic. Again, I'm going to double check all these and they definitely need to be cleaned. So we have an Elsa. My daughter already has this one and it would be hers. So here is Elsa. That one looks good to me too. And we have another frozen pen. So we have Elsa and Anna and a snowflake. Again, I have this one. So that one will go too for the sale. And there's a look at the back of that one. And then we have a Tiana pen. Again, these are very dirty. So I'm gonna try to clean them up and see 
if they clean up some. See, look how dirty, dirty all that is. So I think these are just dirty on some of them. So there's a princess in the frog pen. Clean them up. And then this one. Oh yeah, see. Sorry, this one is dirty too. That is cute. So we've got Mickey and Minnie on a train. Let's look at this. It's a different style pin. Oops. It does say Disney on the back, but that's all. It's like a metal pewter type pin. But it's not a brooch. So that's good. Right, so I'll have to try to clean this one up too. And oh, look at this one. Figment. I love this figment. I'm tempted to keep it. It's got that facing number on the back. Uh, I'm going to think about this one. I have a figment pen that I traded for. So it does hold more value than just this one. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to let go of the figment one I have. Or maybe add this one to my board too. Since I don't have very many pens. So I'm going to keep this one aside for now. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, we have a Vinylmation. So this is of um, Buzz's, um, what's it called? Space Ranger Spin, I think that's what it's called. So this is like what you use in the game and you have the laser to blast everything. So that's really cool. Again, if this one doesn't sell, I mean, that's, that's a ride that my daughter loves now. So, and it's always a fun one to play if you're competitive. So that one may be ours if it doesn't sell. I know people don't like these 3D pins just like I don't. So we'll see. All right, my next pin in here, a fairy. So one of Tinkerbell's fairies. I don't see dips in this one, but I can't tell. These sand back ones like this, unless the numbers are together or something, it's hard for me to tell. But that one's, you can read. I'll have to check that one out a little bit more. But let me know in the comments whether you know. <laughs> If that one's real or fake. And then we have this travel company pin. I have several of these. So that'll go in my cell, but probably be a trader. We have the chip lock. These have been highly faked too. That one is actually readable. Is this one authentic? The edging looks fine. Limited release can easily be read. I'll compare this one to some of the locks that I have, but with these sharp posts right here. And again, it's shiny and no dips. Let's turn it that way. Shiny, no dips. And this one, again, I'll have to check out, but I'm thinking that it's okay. We have the Evil Queen. She's holding her box. It does have the FAC number on the bottom. And spikes on that one. So I think the Evil Queen is fine too. Oh, here's another fairy. So this is one that'll be hard for me to tell. This one, okay, so see, this one does have a dip. So you see right there, in between her eyes, there is a dip. But then this one looks like it has spikes. So see, so hard to tell. So I'm going to put this one to the side too, because I see the dip in that one. Again, these are very dirty. We have an Everest pin. So Expedition Everest and the Yeti goes up and down. See, he looks like he's just dirty too. So these pins just need to be cleaned up some. And that one has the number on the back. So love it. This one, I thought this was cars related or for that um, motor, I forgot what it was called, the attraction. The... Um, like motor car one where they it was in well back when it was called MGM Studios and they had trick cars and stuff and they would show you how they work and how they use them in the movie so I thought it was for that but I'm not sure I don't remember that one is for sale as well we have oh more donuts so a daisy one this time so I feel like with this mini they probably are authentic because then that means they came from package see they're very shiny no dips so I think these are fine more donuts so 
So there's a goofy one. So see if there's five of these, then they probably came out of the pack, the mystery pack. Especially if there's five together. Because the other, the other ones, yep. And here's the other one, a Donald. So we have a Donald one. Oh, but the Donald one does have a dip. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I'm going to check these then. Because <laughs> the Donald one does have a dip. But that could be manufacturer error, but... A lot of times that means that they're not authentic. But this one is shiny, so I don't know. I'll look these up. I have some of these donuts that I know are authentic. So I'll look those up a little bit better and compare them to the ones that I have and see if that's just a defect or what. And then we have the Spaceship Earth Epcot pin, which I like. I might put one of these on my board. I think I have several of these. Then we have the Gingerbread Mickey, which I already have one of these. It's a scrapper. This one's definitely a scrapper too, so put it over to the side. We have, oh, the Lion King. I don't think I have this one. It says, can you feel the love tonight? It's not my favorite though, because this, this art style, it just does not look like Simba and Nyla to me. So I think this one's going in the sale. As much as I want to collect all Lion King pins, it's just it's just not my favorite. And it goes, how does it hang? Like that? There's where the peg is. I don't like how it hangs either. Okay, this one's going in the sale. There we go. Okay, so this is a Dr. Facilia pin. This is a lounge fly pin. Well, that's a lounge fly one. Of, oh. Sleepy. Sleepy on the train. And I think I have all of these. So I do not need this one. This one will go in my cell. Here's another fairy one. So I'll have to check these out. I don't know too much about these fairy pins. So Winnie the Pooh. How cute. So this is from like that millennial set. So the back does look different. See it says pin 98 of 101. So it was like that millennial set or something that they did. That's a cute one. We need a poo. So we've got another fairy. These are really pretty though. I'll have to look them up, but I might do these as a set. So if they are authentic, I'll do them as a full set probably. Oh, we've got a Tinkerbell. So Tinkerbell with her pixie dust. I already have one of these. My daughter already has one of these. So this one will go in the sale. It is kind of messed up a little bit. Looks like some of the glitter got stuck. That one will be for sale. But speaking of Tinkerbell, here's another one. So these are highly faked too, but this one is very shiny. So let's look at the back. It's got spikes, it's got the numbers. This one may be an authentic one too, because the edging looks fine. We have the sharp spike, the numbers are spaced as they should. There's a spacing there in one and five. Again, I'll give these a better look off camera where I can see them better, but quickly glancing, these look authentic to me. We have test track. Which I do not have a test track pin on my board, so this might go on my board too, but I'll put it up here for now. I think I have a double of this one from somewhere. So there's test track. And then we have Oh, this is another lounge fly. Oh, his face. Oh, Prince, Prince Charming, right? Or is this Prince Philip? Who is this? I think Prince Charming. But I think it's a lounge fly pin, but that face, that's not so good. <laughs> he looks kind of scary. We have Doug. All right. So there's Doug. Again, these have been faked too, for sure. This one looks good on the back. Again, iffy on all of these. So I have some fakes of Doug, so I'll compare it to the ones I have. See. Oh, look, we got Space Mountain. So we have Space Mountain with Goofy and Mickey, and it slides up and down. I love this one, but I don't like that. It doesn't stay up by itself where you can read the whole word. If it's on my board, it would look like that, so. I'll have to let this one go, but it does need to be cleaned up. It's pretty dirty. But it's a cool pen. So we've got 
a figment that is definitely fake. So see all of those dips in right there. All the dips in his mouth. There's a dip there too, so I can feel it. So see, the enamel's raised and low, so that's that's just a bad pin. And on the back, there's no pegs. And then the words are hard to read. So that one's definitely fake. Those, this is the Cheshire one. Definitely a dip in his nose. So I again, would assume that that one is definitely fake as well. You can also see the edging here is bad on the side of the pen. So I would say all of those are not authentic. Let's see what else is in here. We have a little Winnie the Pooh. Again, looks okay. No dips. Shiny. But these, I would have no idea whether or not they're authentic or not, because they're so little. I definitely have fakes of these, but they're not shiny. So I'm going to look this one up a little more. Not that that would be an expensive pen, but check that one with the fairies. And we have Sneezy. So this went with a little pen set from a long time ago. It's definitely dirty, so I'm going to have to clean it. But it's an authentic one. And then we have the Mexico flag, which see this one you can see the brush strokes. So that's another sign that these are not authentic. So that one's definitely not authentic. So you can see the brush strokes in the enamel and it's not not clear. And that one doesn't have pegs on the side, which not all of them do. But I would assume that this one is not authentic just because when you put it in the in the light you see how bad the brush strokes are on it so i would that one would be fake so it'll go over here oh here's another lounge fly pen that one's pretty that one i might have to keep for myself i collect little mermaid pins so that one might be for me i'll think about that one too so those three so far only three for me that's not bad <laughs> and then we have the little Puffle. Again, these have been highly faked too. I wouldn't think that this one is authentic. So let's look at the back. Yeah, see, okay, so the edging, the edging on the back of that one would be your sign that it is not authentic. So there's the little pink puffle. That one is a scrapper. Another picture one. Well, that one's see, very, very dirty. But I don't feel dips in this one. Dirty. Okay, so here, let's look at these. <laughs> let's compare. All right, so we have Figment and we have Mini. So Mini might be real because Mini, sorry, I keep, Mini has the pegs, Mini's is black, whereas Figment's is silver. Let's compare. Figment, I knew for sure, for sure was fake. Cheshire, I believe, is, do you see? Cheshire is silver too. So I think Mini is real, just needs to be cleaned up. And then Cheshire and Figment are fake. So see? That's why I like to have the ones that I know are either for sure fake or for sure, oops, sorry, are for sure authentic. So that way I can compare. But Minnie definitely needs to be cleaned up. But I think she's real. You can tell on the sides too, the coloring. This one's a much darker, darker gray and this one's lighter gray. We have an umbrella. This one, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Based off, see how... I'll clean it up, but it doesn't look shiny. So this one's supposed to be from Tokyo. The pegs, see the pegs? It has pegs on the back, but I don't think this one is authentic. I'll clean it up and see if it shines, but I don't think it is. It's got a little dangle. Usually little dangle pins and stuff are not as commonly faked, but that doesn't mean they're not. So I don't think this one is authentic. I'll put it over to the side. We have another fairy. Again, I don't know who these fairies are. So I'd have to check that one, but it would go with the fairies if it is authentic. Oh, Anna, that goes with Elsa. So here is Anna. Anna, that goes with Elsa. And there's gold of 2015. 
what it looks like on the back. I think that one is fine too, but again, I'll double check. So this is, oh, this one looks rough. All right, so definitely would have to clean that one up. Looks like it might have been dropped and scratched a bunch. So that one would go in the scrapper pile, even if it was authentic, because it's, it's all messed up. So that one is going to the scrapper pile. Ariel. Again, a highly faked pin. Okay, so you can see the dips. I'm going to shine it right there. The dips on her neck. So she's for sure not authentic. Can look at the back. Oh, but the back looks good. Hmm. That's interesting. So is this more of what they consider a real scrapper pin because it has defects in the enamel? Again, I wouldn't want to sell that one. There's too many, too many dips and things. And then we have a Donald. Oh, he's cute. That one looks good. So he has a Donald pin. Let's look at the back of that one. It just has one peg. Again, these are dirty. So I think if I clean them up, they'll be fine. A little figment. I don't know what this is. He doesn't look good. He doesn't feel good. You can just feel how light he is. So you see here where three of five is very squished together. And there's no spacing in between. And hidden in Mickey, there's no space in between. That's how you tell that they are fake. So that one is definitely a fake. Oh, focus. There we go. So that one's fake. Look at that. So a cute little Mickey. He's very little. And the back. It's one of the older waffle back pins. That's cute. All right. We have three pins left. And these are all Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. So a Sorcerer's pin. So this is... um. I forgot his name. It's from Pocahontas, though, but I forgot his name. Um, these should be authentic. They've got the laser printed number on the back. So those are nice. Have Scar. That one I will keep for myself. The Scar I think I'm going to keep for myself. And then I have Ursula. Debating on keeping her, too. So I don't want to know if I want to keep Ursula or not. I have a lot of Ursula pins, so I might not. I'll debate on this one, but I think I might sell this one too, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to keep that one for now. All right. And that's all in that box. So this box, everything was in a baggie. So you can see a few things in there. So the first thing we have is these pop pins. So these are like Funko Pop style pins. We have Mickey, Goofy, Pluto, and Donald. And it's in its original packaging. See, so it does say Funko Pop on the back. So that's a cute little pin set. So we have Mirabelle from Encanto. Oh, focus good. There we go. So that one's cute. It looks like it says limited release. That looks out oh, a movie and okay, movie insiders pen. Let's just go ahead and dump these. So we have a oh that one is definitely fake, all those dips. So that one's going to the fake pile. Then we have Walt Disney World survey marker. And that one is fake. There's no spacing there. So that one's going to the fake pile too. Uh-oh. There's Piggy. That one's a cute one though, but it doesn't feel doesn't feel like it's authentic. It's got a bent post for one. The spacing on the back does look good though. Cast lanyard collection. So I would have it doesn't feel right to me, so I don't think it's authentic. Or it would feel feel sh slick and shiny. But again, I'm going to double check all these. Oh, yes, he's got a dip right there, too. So I would not think she is. But the back spacing looks good. So I don't know. That one's iffy. All right, let's see what else we've got. We've got Chip and Dale here. Reminds me of the Rescue Ranger one. Oh, that one's got a dip, too. So this one must not be authentic, either. 
Again, the spacing on the back looks okay though, but it's got a bad dip. So I would not want to put it in my sale because of that bad dip right there. That leads me to think that it's not authentic. Alright, what else we have? Looks like a Tinkerbell. Again, these have been highly faked as well. So that's all it says on the back, so I would think that this one is fake. It does look shiny, but I don't know the coloring. All of that doesn't look good to me. So the lines that you can see in the enamel when you shine it. So I don't think that one is authentic either. And this one, oh, this is a fast pass. So we have Soren. These have been faked too. Especially if they don't feel shiny, this one does not. Yep, see there's a dip and it, it feels rough. So that one's not authentic either. Oh no, yep. Numbers are too close together. So that one is definitely a fake. Let's see what else. A jasmine. So a glittery jasmine. Hopefully this one is okay. <laughs> so yeah, it does have the peg on the back like it's supposed to. The waffling looks good. I think jasmine is fine. Finally a good peg. <laughs> Right, that one's definitely fake again. I can feel how rough it is. And then let's look at the back just to see. So the numbers are small there. They have small spikes. Oh, and I dropped that. And then, oh, yep, the edging. So that one's definitely not authentic. Pick up the back I dropped later. Oh, goodness, this one's really bad. So it's missing enamel. Or Winnie the Pooh. Oops. Oh, he's okay. He's missing enamel anyway. He can stay on the floor. <laughs> All right, let's look at this one. Disneyland. Again, never been to Disneyland, but that is an adorable pen. We have Mickey Mouse, which again, uh, it's hard for me to tell on these. I would just assume these are all fake that are highly faked like this. So I would assume that's fake. Then, oh, we have some Zootopia. So we have Juby Hops. Oh, she does have a little dip there. But then the back looks good, and it's got the FAC number. So maybe that's just some quality control there. All right, so there was Judy Hops. I think that's just a quality control issue because the back looks good on her. So let's see if I have the rest of them and then I can tell for sure because I know that was a booster set. Oops. Oh well. Oh yeah, so see we have Matt Clawhauser, right? Clawhauser there. So let's look at this one. Again, just the enamel on these don't look too good. But the FAC number is on them, so I would think it's okay. But we'll see. Alright, and then we have some in a baggie here. So we have, oh, that's pretty. So we've got the Disneyland 60th with the rhinestones. That's a pretty pin. This is in this little baggie. Oh, nice. So we have the Hollywood Tower of Terror with Goofy and the Dangles. So we have the telephone. We have the Do Not Disturb sign. And we have the luggage. That one is pretty. That's a nice pen. So that one's really nice. All right, that's a good pen. All right, so let's put that one up. And then, again, a lot of these are fake. So we have Donald Duck. That one definitely looks better than Mickey, but don't think it's authentic. This is a Donald Duck one. Oh, this one's authentic, but it has a name. Lauren. So if anybody is named Lauren, there's a pen for you. <laughs> um, Flash. And Zootopia. So again, I think I have the full set here, so I would think these would be authentic, especially with the FAC number on the back. Got one of the monorails. So these 
are extremely hard for me to tell if they're authentic. I know if they have the tags on the back. Well, this one does. But I don't know. Again, I know I have plenty that do not have these pegs at all. So I don't know. I'm iffy on those. But I know these are beginning to be harder to find. But I'll put this one over there on the iffy pile. And I've got poo, which again, I would feel like, well, scrap her. I would just assume this one is. Okay, that's kind of hard to switch to. Yeah, you can see all the brush strokes on it. So that one is, again, when I get it in better light, it'll definitely be easier to tell. And we have a green Mickey. And you guys see the spacing drawing on that. Very, very shiny on the back. That one is not authentic either. And these again, just gonna assume not authentic. The flag. Those are all the highly faked ones. Donald is really bad. <laughs> Let's keep moving. So we have, I think this is for Figment, right? So the cast member outfit for Figment. And again, just going to assume that all of these are fake. Small, small lettering there. But I would assume that all of these are. But again, hard for me to tell. But it, it doesn't feel smooth and shiny when you feel it. And we have another, gosh, another monorail. Let's look at the back of this one. It has the pegs too. Two of five. I'll have to look at it with some of the ones that I have and see. But I, I'm unsure about these monorails. So these are definitely going to be looked at better. And it looks like I have Zootopia left. So we have McWild. And it goes with this Zootopia set, so I'll definitely sell those as a set. And we have, was it Giselle? Gazelle? Something like that. And then we have, is it Bellwether or Merryweather? Something like that. Either one of those. Either Bellwether or Merryweather, I'm not sure. I haven't seen Zootopia. Alright, and that is everything. So that's all the pens that I've gotten so far. These were my keepers over here, and then all of these over here were the scrapper ones, or ones that I need to check. So, not terrible, but I did get a lot of scrappers in this lot. So here's a look at everything I unboxed today. Everything on this pin board will be for sale or for trade, so go check my Instagram, Christy Pensty. I will have a sale early in December, so go check out my Instagram page. All of those pins will be for sale. These over here were my keepers, and all of these were the scrapper pins that I will not be selling. So if you see anything you like, please go check my Instagram, Christy Pinsty, and check out that sale. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I plan to do more videos just like this, unboxing pins as well as pin trading in the parks. So think about subscribing, and have a fantastic day. Bye!